Hello my makeup and nail junkies and I'm coming to you with my makeup haul stash for November. I think Monday is the 3rd. <clears throat> We're actually in November. And as you can see I did not forget my lotion this week. Alright so I'm using the Cherry Blossom Lotion as my lotion all week. And I don't think I've ever used this. This was gifted to me by someone. And I'm also using this Love's Jasmine Perfume as my fragrance of the week which was also gifted to me by someone. And this is in Soft Jasmine. My eyeshadow palette for neutrals and smoking out my eye is going to be the Revealed Eyeshadow Palette. I think it's from BH, no, Coastal Sense. The other eyeshadow palette that I am going to use was also gifted to me. And this is a Kiss eyeshadow palette. And this will be for my colors, whatever colors that I'm wearing for the day. I'll use this Kiss palette for that. And it actually has like some type of foundation. Um, I think that's an eye primer. I think an eye primer comes in this palette, which is really cool. I've used it about one or two times. As you can see, it's been swatched. And it's pretty much okay. And that looks like this when you go in your local beauty supply store. My foundation of the week, I am using my MAC Studio Fix Foundation. I am NC45. I'm trying to use that because we're in the cooler months and maybe it won't oxidize so much and I can get some actual use out of this product. So, yeah, I'm going to use that. I may use it for about two weeks. I need to use that up. And I'm going to use my Nika K powder to set it with and that may help tone down some of the oxidization too. A lighter color. My mineralized skin finish for the week is going to be Stereo Rose only thing I really love by MAC is their mineralized skin finish, their extra dimension skin finishes, and their bronzers. I don't know why I bought that foundation. Uh, my bronzer is going to be Shape the Future. It looks like that. My blush is a Revlon blush in Plum. If you've seen these, that's the blush that I'm wearing. Sorry, Maybelline. Maybelline blush. And I'm going to actually be using two concealers. i got to get another concealer out. I'm going to use this one to combat any dark spots on my face. And then I'm going to use another concealer to do my highlight. For when I do my highlight and my contour. So I have to pull that out. My Anastasia palette is what I'm going to go over my contour with. I always do a liquid contour and then set it with a powder because I'm oily and the Anastasia uh, Beverly Hills palette is excellent for that. My lipsticks of the week, I am going to keep Black Cherry in my lipstick stash because I did not get to wear it last week by Revlon. I promise you guys I'm going to get this dark color in for you. And I have a lipstick that I purchased from one of my girls on Instagram and it is my first this is my first, I think this is Estee Lauder. And this is in Golden Nude. It's a very pretty nude. And this would be my first Estee Lauder lipstick to my collection. And then I also chose this pencil as a, a lipstick. This is the Urban Decay Super Saturated Lipstick in Glenda. It's actually the color of this pencil. So it's a great fall color. And I chose three glosses, Victoria's Secrets Guava, to go over that dark color. I chose a Nana Coco, and the Nana Coco one is in Cappuccino. That's going to be gorgeous over that nude. I also chose a Sephora lip gloss, and I hope I can read the name. It's number 42. The names are so small on the bottom of there. It's number 42. Absolutely love these, and I chose that. And I actually chose um, NARS Super Orgasm lip gloss to help out with my combos of the week remember pictures will be on instagram make sure that you are following me um you can request me if you have an instagram page and you want me to just go ahead and request you so you can request me back not a problem leave it down below i would love to see your face of the day items on instagram if you don't do videos and we're going to get ready for the week you guys remember makeup is not one size fits all and i'll see you the next time we plan our makeup